Now in this video I want to look at some more pronunciation mistakes. There are many words in English that people pronounce wrong. I've seen many singers performing and mispronouncing words because they didn't check beforehand the correct pronunciation. For example, there's one song which says the break of dawn and many people say the break of down. This is because they didn't check the pronunciation before. And because they didn't check, on stage they all made fools of themselves. Now there are lots of words in English which have a different spelling to the pronunciation. This we all know. A good thing to do is listen to the audio of things that are written. So using audio books, things like that, where you can listen to the pronunciation as you follow the script or the text. This way, when you're going through the text, you can highlight any words that you didn't know before. Then at the end, re-listen and learn how to pronounce the words correctly. Even going online finding the phonetics is easy these days. There are a million websites out there that help you with phonetics. You do not need to be like me and be able to write phonetics upside down. Yes, I can. Yes, I'm sad. I can. Because many times students are sitting in front of me and because I'm nice, I'm a gentleman, I don't have a pen in my hand, but I do. They have their books facing them. I'm facing the student, and so I have to write upside down in the books. Ah, for me, it's easy. Maybe it's more difficult for me to write on the right way around. I'm so used to doing it upside down. Anyway, so the example I gave you was dawn being pronounced as down. Totally wrong. Dawn is dawn. Down is down. Two totally different words. But did you know there are some native English speakers who also mispronounce words? Let's have a look at a few. Which do you think is correct? Jewelry or jewelry? The correct pronunciation is jewelry, not jewelry. Now in England, there are many different cities and many, many different accents. Some people pronounce the word often as often. And so now there are some people in England who say often and some people who say often. But which is correct? Often is correct. The T is completely silent. Now does a doctor give you a prescription or a prescription? A prescription, not a prescription. Prescription. You take the prescription to the pharmacy or to the chemist and they give you your medication. Mmm, sherbet dips. Do they still exist? Sherbet is that little like crushed candy thing. It's very, very sweet. And when I was younger, many, many, many years ago, we used to get a stick of licorice and dip it in sherbet. You know what I'm saying? Sherbet and not sherbet. I've heard many people say sherbet. Sherbet? No. Sherbet? Yes. Fruit and veg... What word was I going to say? Was I going to say vegetable or vegetable? The correct pronunciation is vegetable. The E in the middle is not pronounced. Vegetable. Another word similar to this mistake is comfortable, not comfortable. Comfort, not comfort. A friend of mine sang a song, recorded it, released the CD, didn't ask me to check it, and she said, comfort. Sorry, Laura, but I have to use you as an example. But I used her real name, not her stage name. Okay, we're all using Instagram and all these social media platforms these days. But the letters G-I-F, how do you pronounce it? To be honest, I also, until about a year ago, didn't know how to pronounce G-I-F. I was saying GIF. I had no idea. The actual pronunciation is GIF. So you add GIFs to your Instagram stories, not GIFs. In fact, GIF sounds horrible. Kilometer or kilometer. Many people say kilometre. In fact, to be honest, so do I sometimes. Oops. It's kilometre. Meat. Kilometre. Now, to finish this video, I've got a little secret to tell you. It's not really a secret, it's a funny story. Many, many years ago, my mother and I were hiding in the kitchen, crying our eyes out. But crying our eyes out because we were laughing. We were laughing so much we were literally crying because there was a woman in the living room speaking to my father and she couldn't pronounce the word participate. And she kept saying participate. Now my mother and I both have a wicked sense of humor. But when you hear somebody saying, I told him to participate, he's not participating continuously, even you can't 
keep a straight face. It's not possible. My dad was not very happy after. He thought we were laughing at him. How he didn't notice, I have no idea. But I suppose he is 100% from Belfast. At least I have 50% Manchester. So I would like you all now to participate, I mean participate, and in the comments below I want to know what words you've been pronouncing wrong or if you know of any other words that people mispronounce regularly. Write them in the comments below.